Hey there, it's Wednesday, so it's time for another comic haul being brought to you by Comic Frontline. And let us get into what comics came out today. Wednesday, comic day, always love to go get the comics. We will start out with the independents because we love to do so. And let's see what is first here Valiant's Bloodshot and Hardcore number 20. All I needed to see was Tom Rainey's name in the art credits, and I bought it. Uh, Tom Rainey, I'll buy anything he does. Fantastic artist, one of the best out there right now. So uh, I can't say I'm steady on this title, but with Tom Rainey doing any of the art, I am in. Ghost. Mm. Number two. Seems like there was a bit of a gap between one and two here, but uh, first issue was pretty good, and I have high hopes for this one. Uh, let's see. Now, Six Million Dollar Man, Season 6, Number 1. Uh, I had bought the other Six Million Dollar Man uh, comic that they had done. I felt they had changed him a bit too much. They kind of beefed up his uh, bionics, an extra leg, a spine. I know maybe scientifically it makes more sense, uh, but it wasn't really the Steve Austin I uh, knew and loved from watching the TV show. So I wasn't really down for it. They even had stuff going on in his blood. So it was kind of like, I don't know, does everyone have to be wolverine up here? To be like indestructible or whatever. Like it was all on the molecular level. And it was just too much. This hopefully will bring it back to uh, again what I knew and loved. About the TV series. About having that action figure where you looked in the back of his head. And uh, saw it through the eye. Look that up. Google it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Six million dollar man action figure. Um... Villain, oops, villain here is Maskatron, which was part of that, uh, part of that, uh, action figure lineup. Maskatron was one of the villains. Uh, I don't think I had that. I know, I believe Cameron, uh, from Comic Frontline, I believe Cam did. So, and I went over his house and saw, uh, saw it at least. All right. Moving on. Gold Digger. What number is this? 208. Again, I've been with this series since the beginning. Love uh, Fred Perry's art and story. And if he keeps putting them out, I will keep getting them. He actually did like a DVD where he animated uh, a little, you know, short cartoon himself. Uh, so this guy can really like just churn it out. And, again, just love his work. Okay, this was last week, actually, but I had not looked through it. So I did not know that, uh, yeah, John Carter, issue 34, uh, Warlord of Mars, issue 34, rather. Um, this one has art by Raphael Lanhelis. Artist of Sorority of Power number three and Argo five number eight. So I loved his work enough to have him uh, do work for me in Argo Comics. So, you know, as a fan of his work, if he puts out something, I will get it. Um, I haven't been with uh, Wool of Mars throughout the entire series. Loved the movie, and combination, again, his artwork, and uh, liking the property was enough for me to pick this up. Speaking of artists who I like, I was willing to pay the extra money for Magnus Number 1 with the Rob Liefeld cover. That's right. Rob Liefeld cover, Magnus Number 1, price tag on it. And bag and board because they were charging extra, but I'm down. 
down for, uh, you know, I like Magnus in the past. They had uh, actually Mike McCone, I recall, uh, did a fantastic uh, run on that. Uh, I kind of flipped through the interior of one of the ones that weren't bagged and board, one of the regular covers. I'll, jury's still out on that. But again, I like to have number one. I like to have the Rob Liefeld cover. And uh, again, another artist whose work I admired. So much so that he did the uh, cover for Argo 5, uh, number 6. And he has a number of interior uh, pinups within Argo Comics. So when I like an artist, I try to uh, collect their work. Well, if I really like an artist. Otherwise, sometimes it'll come down to what the property is. Um, I was waiting for the trade of this rather than picking up the issues. The Shadow, Green Hornet, Dark Knights. So, uh, again, two movies I liked. Uh, you know, I know everyone wasn't down for Seth Rogen, but I thought it was still good. Uh, Alec Baldwin as the Shadow, that was cool. Of course, you know, he's date back way before any of that with the Pulps. Um, and I've been, uh, you know, a fan of uh, comics inspired by the Pulps. I can't say I've gone directly to pulp material. I've uh, had a little bit of education of that, thanks to uh, Captain Ron Fortier in the uh, Zone 4 podcast that I like to listen to. But uh, I did pick this up, and I will be checking it out. Onward to DC, Superman Wonder Woman number 6. Okay, Tony Daniel, another great creator. And ah, this has been highly touted as one of the better Superman books. I'll agree. It's not really Superman. It's that new 52 guy. But it's been pretty good. Uh, talking about a new 52 guy that really didn't change much. We have Batman number 29. Uh, you know, Greg Capullo has been drawing this. Scott Snyder, a writer. Uh, it's been highly touted. I don't know if anyone's really digging the uh, 4 dollars cover price now. But, you know, they know they have us where they want us and that we're buying it. Uh, Justice League of America, 13. This one I've been kind of picking up regardless of uh, creators. Longtime Justice League fan. Uh, so, you know, picking it up, honestly, I haven't been reading it. One day I'll have to catch up. The Royals. Now, this is among the DC books. I put it there. I know it's Vertigo. If you think you're buying an independent comic because you're buying Vertigo, you're buying DC books. Um, that's not to say anything's good or bad about them. And, uh, I still didn't get around to the first issue of this. But, pick this up. All right. Marvel. Mighty Avengers. Mm, number eight. Picked up that one. I don't know if Greg Land's doing the interior or not. Nope. But, still good artwork. And, you know, a book that, uh, among the Avenger books, looks like one of the better ones. I have not been picking up the various Captain Marvels that I know everyone's uh, all hyped up about. I did flip through this one, like the art, going to check it out. I'm not a, you know, super duper Captain Marvel fan, unless you want to talk about the guy they're calling Shazam right now. Um, and even he's, like, altered in the New 52. But, at any rate, picked it up, and we'll check it out. Got... All New X-Men, number 24. I'm looking here at the next book I got here. It's All New X-Men, 22.0.22 now. I don't know. I got them both. You know, Charlie Jean Grey. It's a great ongoing story. Uh, let's see. Well, Bendis has been writing the whole thing. These are both Eminem. You know, 
part five. What does this one say? I don't know. Is this maybe a reprint? Who knows if this was a new thing or not? I have to look through it. Make sure it was under the new releases. I don't know what's going on there, but got those. Fantastic Four number two. Again, this one flipping through number one looked pretty good. Don't have time to get keep up with everything because I'm reading other stuff, but good enough for me to pick up another one. Number two. Well, look what came in today. Uh, as I am mostly the writer for Argo Comics, I did draw Argo 5 number one uh, before being an editor, letterer, uh, marketing, everything, pre-press, doing all that didn't really leave me enough time to... Uh, do all the art. So basically, I do enjoy doing artwork, but I haven't been, uh, you know, at conventions I've been doing artwork, and I will be doing artwork at the uh, store signing that I'll fill you in about, but I haven't been doing all the art. I do buy a sketch magazine, I have all the issues of sketch that came out. Uh, this one, Art of Jim Lee, so you can't go wrong looking at the Art of Jim Lee. And, uh, yeah, Sketch Magazine's been a great magazine, uh, put out by the people uh, associated with Blue Line, and, uh, they have some great guys, they had a podcast, uh, as well that I was listening to. Um, their friends actually of uh, comic related, which of course is your top uh, website for comics news and reviews, along with the uh, partnered with Comic uh, Frontline. Um, but beyond that, before I knew any of that, I was buying Sketch Magazine, and still buying that, and in the same. Uh, type of vein, I've been buying Draw. So they have Right Now, which is a writer magazine, Draw, which is about art, and uh, Sketch Magazine being uh, from another company, but again, another great art instructional. And talking about doing art, this is uh, again what I was talking about, where I'll be doing at least uh, bust sketches at Collector Kingdom's uh, March Madness sale. That is a week from today, so, you know, the uh, haul video may come just slightly late because I'll be here doing uh, the signing. It's in Huntington, New York. You can uh, go to the Argo Comics Facebook page for more information on that if you uh, are interested in going, if you're local. And you're saying, Dan, you buy all these comics, you are behind on reading this and that. Well, what are you reading? Right now I've been reading the critically acclaimed Black Salad book. Okay, this is a uh, the English version. And the collection of uh, a few of the uh, European editions. I mean, I actually have opened up to a great panel to show that, like, it's just some crazy detailed artwork. Let me try to get the camera to zoom in on some of that, like. Like, no guy turning out a monthly book is going to be able to draw a store like that. But, uh, hopefully you're not getting dizzy. Uh, yeah, it's some beautifully uh, rendered artwork. Uh, I'm on the third story. First story was pretty good. Second story was, I would say, great. Third story seems to be going along very well. Uh, you know, I mean, again, just the uh, lavishness of the art 
really makes uh, this book stand out. Uh, and, you know, it's kind of like a uh, noir type story, like a detective type of story, you know, that they set in the uh, 40s or so, 50s. Uh, that whole genre that's, you know, was pretty popular at one point. And, uh, like I said, it has animals, but they're far from, like, funny animals. Um, quite representative of, uh, the personalities. I think they chose the animals well. Uh, like I said, the art is amazing, and the stories range from, uh, good to great. So... I would recommend this one, especially if you're uh, a fan of, you know, like a painted art style. You really uh, will enjoy looking at something like this. And as I said, the stories will keep you uh, entertained. So, I've been reading this, fall behind on the regular monthly Marvels and stuff. I mean, basically with Marvel and DC... Uh, there are certain titles that I know, again, being such a follower of certain artists, that I'm going to get uh, regardless. So sometimes uh, I know I could just put those to the side, gather up a larger chunk uh, for reading at another time, and get to reading some other materials uh, that I'm interested in. So that about does it for this week's haul. Uh, don't forget to go to Comics Frontline blogspot.com keep up with what's uh, new out there in the world of comics and make sure to visit our YouTube for regular updates there hope you enjoyed this whole video and I'll talk to you later